watch this video. This is, this is really incredible. Like if you want like the most perfect example of, of virtually everything that I talk about on this show, how the mainstream media launders the lies and how they work with the Democrat party so that when you see something right in front of you that you know it's true, that right now, who is responsible for the border? Like, let, let's just pause here for a sec. Who's responsible for the border? It's the president of the United States, right? That is one of the few things that the federal government is supposed to do. So we just showed you those videos. All of these people are coming across. I don't think anyone is doubting the numbers, right? With these insane border crossings, I think over 2 million this year. So that is the fault of the Democrat party and the president. These are just facts. You may not like them, but they are facts. And by the way, if it was a Republican president and this was happening, then it would be the fault of the Republican president. But listen to the way ABC's Martha Raddatz raises this question related to whose fault it is that all these people are coming. And then you'll really get insight into how they trick people from not being able, to, they basically say, look, that's right in front of you. No, 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 that's not what you see. It's something else. This is, this is, it's an incredible shell game. Watch this. You talk about the border wall. You talk about open borders. I don't think I've ever heard President Biden say, we have an open border, come on over. But people I have heard say it are you, our former President Trump, or Ron DeSantis. That message reverberates in Mexico and beyond. So they do get the message that it is an open border and smugglers use all those kinds of statements. It was, it was known for the time that Joe Biden got elected Joe Biden supported open borders. Uh, it is known uh, by the cartels who have sophisticated information whether or not the Biden administration is going to enforce the immigration laws or not is known across the world, but most importantly, known among the cartels. And how do you play into that? What can you do better? Uh, so we have every level of government doing everything we can to prevent people from coming into the country illegally or repelling them or arresting them and putting them behind bars. Do you see what she just did there? Do you see what she just did? That was obviously uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. So she's saying to Greg Abbott, who has all these Texas border towns, right? She's saying, because you guys say that Biden has an open border, that's why people are coming, not because Biden's actions have proven it. So she's trying to blame the people who are calling out the problem for the problem itself. She's saying, well, Joe Biden never said it. Yes, of course, Joe Biden never said, guys, we have an open border, come on down, right? Like this is Price is Right, come on down, spin the wheel, get the cash. That's in essence what we're doing, but she didn't, uh, Biden actually never flat out said it, but she completely flips the reality. That's what I mean about the shell game, that it's not Biden who says open borders, it's you guys who are not in charge of the border. It's you, Greg Abbott, it's you, Ron DeSantis, it's you, Donald Trump, and that's what the migrants, the migrants, the illegal aliens, that's what they hear and that's why they're coming. It's such an extraordinary, subtle, uh, pernicious distortion of the truth. Ugh, gross, disgusting. But this is what they do to all Republicans and you must know this. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go, Brandon.